Hello, my name is Justin and I'm one of the nature interpreters here at Royal Botanical Gardens and I'm joining you from the beautiful Arboretum where you can explore our collection of trees as well as access some of the trails along the north shore of Coots Paradise Marsh. Now this is an absolutely wonderful place to visit, especially in fall when you get to see the colors of the leaves change. But you don't need to wait until fall to see what colors might be hiding in some of these green leaves because here's an experiment that you can do at home that can show you the colors in leaves at any time of the year. You'll need a container like a jar or a cup, leaves, a coffee filter, a pencil or stick, tape, scissors, a tray that is a few centimeters deep, rubbing alcohol, and hot water. The first step is to cut up or tear your leaf into as small pieces as possible and put them in the jar. The smaller, the better. You can also try using a spoon or another tool to kind of crush up the leaves to help release their juices. Once that's done, you need to pour enough rubbing alcohol to just cover the leaves inside of your container, and then you're going to place your container in your tray. Now, at this point, you want to cover your container loosely with a lid or something else like a plastic bag secured by a rubber band or aluminum foil. Now, add the hot water to the tray and wait. The water will heat up the alcohol on the inside to help dissolve the colors in the leaves, kind of like if you were making tea. Every few minutes you can give your container a little swirl and you should start to see the alcohol change color. You will want to let your leaves sit in the hot water for at least 30 minutes and you can replace the hot water if it cools off. You can let your sealed container sit as long as you'd like, even overnight, to dissolve as much color as you can. When you are ready, you will need to cut your coffee filter into a thin strip that is at least long enough to reach from the alcohol to the top of the container, or longer. Then, tape your coffee filter to a pencil and place it over your container. You can rotate and adjust the pencil so that your coffee filter is just touching the alcohol. And now, more waiting. After about 30 minutes, you should start to see a colored stripe form on your paper as the alcohol and colors travel up your coffee filter that you should probably wait at least an hour or more for that color to show better and to give different colors a chance to separate. Here you can see the results of my red maple leaves and sumac leaves that I collected in late September as the leaves were beginning to lose their green color. Now you can run this experiment with different kinds of leaves, different colors of leaves, leaves at different times of the year, maybe even leaves that you like to eat and see how your results might change. But the best way to explore the colors of leaves is to get outside during fall and see the colors change right on the trees. Now I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're looking for instructions to the experiment visit rbg.ca slash at home where you'll also find plenty of other fun activities. I hope to see you here soon.